Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and I do a monthly favorites video every single month. This month is quite delayed because if you guys follow me on Instagram, I have been nonstop traveling. I spent about three weeks in California and then I also just came back from Mexico after being back in Toronto for only a few days. So there has just been a lot of movement on my end and then I also lost my voice in Mexico because I went with a bunch of girls and we had such a great time. So I am going to be whispering in this video. But anyway, the California vlogs are up so you guys can check that out. And there's also a vlog for Mexico coming up. I also went on that trip with influencers. So I'm very excited to show you guys that vlog. Anyway, starting with this month, as usual, we have our categories of jewelry, beauty, and clothing. But this time, everything is also going to have some travel component to it. And I have some travel accessories for you guys. In terms of travel, a lot of you had asked me on Instagram on how I pack my things and stuff like that, especially like the important stuff that isn't just like, you know, specific to me like in my luggage but just like in my travel pouches and stuff and i'm actually very excited to share that with you because i think it's going to be a very informative video i'm so proud of what i put in my bag when i travel because i am really on top of it when i travel so i'm very excited to show you that anyway without further ado let's get the video started starting off with this month's majuri products i just want to remind you guys that i also have 10 percent off with majuri it is in the link down below it is actually embedded with all the items so once you click it, the discount will be applied at checkout. I have this ring right here. Honestly, the names are slipping my mind because I've just had it for a while. The first ring is this top one right here, the chain ring I've already had for a really long time. This one is kind of like the stacker ring. It's also in solid gold, but what makes this different is that there are diamonds in the front and it just makes it really, really pretty. It's like a very basic staple piece with a hint of diamond. So I've been really loving this piece so far and it's been going with everything in my stack. So this is just one of the combinations that you can put together, but you are free to put it together with any of these other ones because it just works on every stack. The second one is actually one that I found when I went into the Majuri store and I tried it on and I was like, why did I not have this ring before? But it is this one right here. Once again, I'm just gonna leave the name on the side because I cannot remember the name. This one has like this very bumpy texture, which makes it look so good when stacked. I don't know if you guys can see that. When it looks like this, it just, it kind of has this edge thing going and I just think it looks super dainty and yet very edgy, but in like a very simplistic way. And I just absolutely love it. This was already mentioned in a previous video, but the middle one is actually a white gold band and that one is in solid gold but in white gold it looks silver basically but I really like mixing metals and for March favorites I'm going to show you my favorite stacks with different metals because it actually looks so good like when you have silver and gold all together I just I love that look the last thing that I want to share with you from Majuri is if you guys didn't know or if you don't watch the vlogs I actually got my ears pierced at Majuri in Vancouver so I will leave a picture of the vlog here you guys can check out the entire experience if you guys are thinking about getting your ears pierced but can't remember like what the experience was like because you maybe got your ears pierced at like eight years old as every normal kid did. I didn't. I got a pierce at like 15. So I actually had a very, like I have a better memory of it than most people because most people get it when they're like either babies or just like, you know, super young. But I actually documented the whole thing from a jury. So you guys can go check that out. But I actually got two earrings. It's just for my third lobe. And basically I wanted the cartilage but I think I didn't want it enough to go through like the entire healing process of the cartilage and also like the actual piercing moment of getting your cartilage done. I just don't think I can go through with it but for the lobe it was actually very manageable. I was talking about it on the vlog and I was saying that it is actually more manageable getting my ears pierced than my COVID test because like getting your ears pierced is only a one second thing. It only pinches you but with your COVID test it's like they're up there like really going in your nose and that actually like like is so much more uncomfortable. And the other thing was getting wax as well. It's like that pain is like, you know, it's not just like the one time, it's like you're getting waxed multiple times. For that reason, getting my ears pierced was not that bad at all. On to beauty. So these ones are all like within the travel category and I'm actually very excited because these are the products I used all month while I was traveling. So the first one, this is actually already empty. Like 
I don't know if you can hear like this is literally like empty anyway the first one is Kiehl's Calendula I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly Calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash so this is what the product looks like I have the travel size however the reason why I like this face wash is because I forgot my makeup oil my travel size makeup oil this is what my makeup oil looks like so I got this container from Muji and I just fill it up because I can refill this so I always just fill it up with my cleansing oils but I forgot this like I forgot to bring this to Vancouver and therefore I forgot to bring it to California but Kiehl's coincidentally had sent me a Christmas advent calendar that contained this and I found out it removes makeup so 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 well I feel like I'm usually a team cleansing oil person and then you know still with the double wash and a micellar water afterwards but this is one of the few 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 products where I can tell you an actual foaming face wash that removes makeup so effectively I would say that the other one would be the first aid beauty face wash but that one takes longer this one like it takes like a long time for me to especially remove like my waterproof it will still remove it it's just it takes me a long time this one works so well I think that it is really good for traveling for two reasons number one if you're going on a short trip you can use this both for morning and night night to remove your makeup and morning as your foaming face wash the second thing is you can also buy the full size at home if you're one of those people who don't like cleansing oils and or you just want one product for morning and night and not have multiple like me like I have a crazy amount of product in my bathroom for morning night midday <laughs> if you're someone that is like i just want one freaking product i don't want anything else this is it my friend like this one is so good i still recommend double cleansing if you are going to be removing makeup and svf but um in terms of just having you know like one product this is so good like chef's kiss this saved me from my clumsiness of not bringing my cleansing oil and just a reminder for keels i have 15 percent off the entire canadian store so if you are canadian make sure to use the link down below and get your discount okay the second item that i wanted to share with you you guys know that i love using vitamin c in the morning as my serum so the one that i have is the one by burst this is the vitamin c brightening serum by burst and the reason why i like it is because it is so tiny compared to some of the other vitamin C bottles like you can just see this is compared to a lipstick but this is the same height as this little 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 liquid lipstick I mostly like it for the size the product itself is actually really good and price wise it is better than some of the other vitamin C's on the market so I feel like if you are looking for a you know affordable vitamin C and also you know something that is like just very compact I would definitely recommend and this one I really like the packaging of this and it served me really well when I was traveling the last beauty product that I wanted to share with you is the Laneige water bank moisture cream for this one I actually mentioned it in my Chilliwack vlog when I was there with Teresa I actually got this as a sample I think from Sephora maybe and because it's in such a little travel size I just brought it with me to California due to the weather in California and because it's not like a dry winter I was actually able to use this product for both morning and night Night and not have to carry two different products that is largely due to the weather though because the winter months here I probably still want something thicker but for California it was amazing using it for both and I loved this product so 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 much I already talked about it on that vlog when I did a first impression when I first put this on my face I just remember thinking like my jaw hit the floor I was like oh my god I think it's like the texture of it i love the texture and also the consistency of this product this one is fragranted so if you guys are looking for something unfragranted i don't recommend however for those who you know are not super sensitive with fragrance this one smells so good as well and it served me really well in traveling i also like the container a lot because it doesn't have a lot of wasted space in here i'm going to show you an example of a travel container that has a lot of wasted space for example this container by Tatcha which is also a travel size it is just not 
very like conducive to its size because if this is the full size on the outside it really only curves in like here so you're only getting this amount of product but for this you can see that the amount of container is so minimal so you can really maximize the space of like what is in here it is actually really important especially if you're like me and you're traveling for you know not just like two days you're traveling for maybe like three weeks or whatever you really really want to utilize every single possible real estate you can and have it fit in your bag as well I just really like the container so if there's like a Laneige like travel kit I highly recommend this product is amazing and also the container is amazing for traveling as well I just want to mention what lip colors I'm wearing because usually you guys ask me but this is the Lancome um, liquid lipstick in the color French tea 274. I really like the consistency of it. It's very, very light, but I want to spend more time with it before I do an actual review. And the second product that I have on top, it is the Tower 28 Jelly Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Spicy. They are also an Asian-owned beauty brand, so I absolutely love supporting them. So definitely check this out. So far, it's been great, but once again, for a proper review, I'm definitely going to have to wait for the full month. Okay, moving on to travel products, and I am so so sorry for the beeping in the background. I have been trying to wait this out, but it has been way too long and there's just construction in the background. So we are going to just have to live with it because unfortunately I live downtown and this is not something you can avoid. So we are going to be here all day if we wait for this. So the next part, I really want to get into the travel stuff. So starting with the first thing, I was gifted this travel pack from Paravel. So this is the brand here, Paravel. The first reason why I like this product, besides the fact that it looks absolutely amazing and I have my engraving on here, is the fact that they use very sustainable products. It is a sustainable company. However, right now I believe they only ship to the States. So if you are from Canada, I don't know if you can buy it at the moment. But for those of you, because I know there are a lot of people watching from the US. First of all, I love your country. I want to live there. Second of all, this is so amazing. I love it for when I'm traveling and the small one fits all of my skincare stuff. So this is just all the skincare stuff I have. I'm going to put back my Laneige packet. But yeah, this is like, this is my skincare bag. It's all in mini size so it can fit in this little mini box. And then this is honestly just miscellaneous. Sometimes I even bring it if it's empty, like when I went to Mexico and then I filled it up when I ended up like getting stuff. So I really, really recommend checking Checking them out and they are so ethical and sustainable I just I love that so definitely look at what other color options they also sell luggages and all these other things so if you're in the market for some travel accessories definitely check that out okay the next product that I want to talk about I should have talked about this product a really long time ago because it's been a favorite of mine ever since I started binge traveling since Europe and I don't know why I didn't talk about this but the next product is my travel sporty like fanny pack so this one is a customized one that Dermalogica had sent over but really like I think it's like pretty much the Lululemon one right before Dermalogica had actually sent this to me they sent it to me right before Alberta and I was so happy because I was about to buy the Lululemon one this was like last year early summer back then the Lululemon one only came in like black so my entire girlfriend group had the black Lululemon bag and that was why I was like I wanted it for the functionality but I didn't want to get it in black because like my entire friend group had it and there literally was a day when we went water rafting There's also a vlog about that But when we went water rafting people were grabbing the wrong fanny pack So I was like, oh, I don't want to have that problem But I also really want black and it was the only other color at the time But now Lululemon has a bunch of different colors that I will link below that look absolutely amazing There's like a pink one and a peach one. I don't know if it's still in stock, but I had my eye on those I might still get it I don't know. I did it. But those ones are honestly so pretty. And most importantly, you guys know I'm all about function. I don't care if I'm buying a designer bag. It has to be functional or else I'm not going to use it. So this bag is no different. First of all, the reason why I like to have this as a fanny pack when I'm traveling is because when I'm at the airport, it just makes all my documents super easy to grab. The separate video that I'm going to make about traveling is mostly about this bag and what I put in here because honestly, guys, I think after traveling for the last year, I really have this 
this down to a science, okay? I know exactly, exactly what you need to put in here so you're never like reaching for anything. It's so convenient, it's like in front of you, but everyone needs something like this. And if you guys watch my designer bag collection, you will know that I actually use my YSL fanny pack as a travel bag, but that one is leather. So usually if I'm going to fancy places, like for example, if I go to Paris, I will use that as like a travel fanny pack because it's leather, it's so nice. That's like one less bag I have to bring and I can use it around the airport and stuff like that. But if I'm going on a trip, like for example, California or like when I went to Banff and stuff and I knew there was gonna be hiking involved, I will always choose this bag over the YSL leather one just because this one can also be my hiking bag. And therefore I think this is like way more practical than a leather version, but you can put literally everything in here. Okay, not actually everything, but all the important necessary stuff in here, especially when you're going to the airport. So even when you go to the bathroom, you can leave it on you and you know, not have to worry about leaving the important stuff sitting on a plane. So definitely go check out the Lululemon one because this one is like I said, customized and personalized, but the Lululemon one is just as amazing and everyone needs it for traveling. Okay, so moving on to clothing and apparel. The first thing I want to share are these sunglasses here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that these sunglasses were everywhere on my Instagram feed, whether it's on my stories or actually on my feed. It is by a brand called Vela. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But these sunglasses are super good quality and very, very stylish and I really like it. I've also seen other really famous people wear it like Bella Hadid and stuff. Not this exact pair, but like some other pairs and stuff by this brand. So definitely check it out. I really, really like these sunglasses and they were really good to me. These ones in particular, I will also leave down below, are especially good for Asian noses because of the nose bridge. So I definitely recommend checking this out, especially if you also have a flat, cute Asian nose. Yeah, they're really good for Asian noses. The next item I wanted to share with you guys is actually this top from Revolve. If you guys follow me on TikTok and on Instagram, I posted a Revolve haul and this is something I actually got sent to me to California and it was so clutch. I couldn't stop wearing this top all throughout California and I couldn't stop wearing it for the one week that I came back from Toronto. I wore it out. I wore it during the day for nicer brunches, dinners and stuff like that. And I also liked it so much. I got it in this color and I got it in black. So the reason I like this top, this has this little detail right here. So it is a little bit open. What I like about it are the following reasons. Number one, as you guys know, I love anything with a shoulder pad and that has to do with my own insecurities about my arm. So anything with a big shoulder pad makes the illusion of my arms look smaller. So I love that. The second thing is that you don't even see my arm because it's long sleeve. And also there were a couple times on this trip, I forgot to shave my armpits and I just love that this just covered my armpits so I didn't even have to worry about it. The material is also thin enough so that it was still very good for a day like in San Francisco, San Diego, and like at nighttime in LA. This was still like the vibe because it is just like super light and breezy. Once again, I also got this in black. I would recommend getting both colors honestly and I rarely say that, but this top is so versatile. The second thing is that I love that there's this detailing here where it just cinches together here. I feel like you would think that this top would be a little bit risque, but it's actually quite conservative. And unlike some of the other really like big cutout tops, this is really good for small boobs. All I have on is a nipple sticker. It's like a mix of like, it looks classy, but yet you're not. It's like not super conservative. So it's like perfect for going out because you're not looking super like hoey or whatever, but at the same time, you're not looking like super like conservative, if that makes sense, because of this little opening in the front. It covers everything you need to cover. And also when you have your arms up, it doesn't like lift up the whole thing. So probably one of the best things I've ever received from Revolve. Definitely recommend, definitely check out the link down below. And as usual, if you guys need anything, okay, if you wanna look at anything I've ever mentioned, remember you can go on my website and literally find anything you want. You can do lisaway.com slash revolve. You'll see everything I've ever gotten from revolve. lisaway.com slash lululemon. You can see my entire lululemon collection. lisaway.com slash pretty little thing, my entire pretty little thing collection. And if you wanna know my entire makeup routine or all my favorite makeup products, lisaway.com slash makeup. 
lisaway.com slash skincare, lisaway.com slash glasses. I have them down broken for like my actual like glasses, which I get asked all the time. And I also have my sunglasses collection. Do not hesitate to go on my website and look for all of those things. I link everything on my website. You can just take your time exploring because we worked really hard on that website and I think you can really find what you need. But anyway, moving on to the next product. The next item I wanted to talk about are these Converse shoes. I wore these. I wore these all over California. As you probably saw on my Instagram, I wore these Converse shoes everywhere. The funny story to come with Converse and me is that growing up, I hated Converse. I don't know why, I hated the style of Converse. I just never liked it. And I even like whenever my boyfriends in high school, boyfriends, not at the same time, just want to clarify, but my boyfriends throughout high school would wear Converse. I'm like, Ugh, ew, can you not wear that? Like blah, blah, blah. And then now the fact that I love these is like, it's such a big plot twist and such a like hypocrite moment and I'm owning up to it. I also want to say that these are not regular Converse's. First of all, these are like a little bit thicker. This has also like a plastic thing at, in the front. It's not your typical Converse. So the ones that I have are the Chuck High 70s. These are the high tops. I also do not like low tops. For most of my shoes, I realized ever since I got the Air Force One high tops, I was like, yo, I love high tops for shoes. So now most of my sneakers are pretty much high tops. Like I also got the Nike Dunks and I also got it in the high top version. I got another pair of Converse, they just arrived. So I haven't actually worn it, but I got another white pair platform high Converse in white. And yeah, I absolutely love these. I stuck true to size. They told me to go half size down and I did and it was not great. I just stuck to my size. So I had to exchange for my size and it's so much better, but I absolutely love these. I feel like they're definitely making a comeback, at least Converse is in the Chuck High 70s. And it is so practical, especially when I was in California and I wore them everywhere and even to Mexico. Highly recommend. The last item that I want to recommend is actually this Princess Polly Puffer. I got this a few years ago actually, but then I left it in Vancouver, so I haven't worn it in so long, but I wanted to bring it back to Toronto and thankfully I did because I made a pit stop to California and since I went to San Francisco and San Diego, so unlike LA, those two places were super, super cold at times, especially it would go down to like eight degrees, nine degrees or whatever. So this puffer came in handy for sure. You can see it in my Instagram post as well. The other reason I like this puffer is because Unlike the Aritzia Super Puff, I don't know why, I don't actually like the look of the Aritzia Super Puff, so I do not own it, even though it looks like something I would own. But the reason why I don't like the look of the Aritzia Super Puff is because at the end of the puff, it goes straight down, whereas I really like it when it cinches in. So this one cinches in a little bit, and I love that. I just love the entire cut and feel of this jacket. I don't think it's as warm as the Aritzia Super Puff, so if you are looking for warmth and you're Canadian, then maybe this isn't the jacket, especially for really cold days. But I think that if you are either from California, like San Francisco, San Diego, whatever, for those like eight degree weather types, it's so amazing. Even if you're from Vancouver or even in Toronto in like the warmer winter months or the colder summer months, like I honestly think that this is such a great puffer jacket. I absolutely Love it. It's also super great for traveling because the pockets are huge. So whenever I wear it to the airport, I could put like my phone, I could put my sanitizer in here and like everything else, especially if you don't have this fanny pack, you can put a lot of things in these pockets instead. But anyway, that's pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so excited to bring back our two videos a week videos. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.